Hey people, Intro here, 3v3, Quest Redemption, Blue Side. Jojo is a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist in infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support alongside. Django is a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fact in melee combat begins with a refractor shield. And rounding off the blue team, Dave is a brother captain, very durable hero that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful disruption and support fighting in melee combat. Red team, Noisy is a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero, there he goes. That fights in ranged combat by default, great for capping, harassing, and controlling enemies. Alongside Best Noob is an Inquisitor, another control hero with some good offense too. Begins in melee combat but can get specialized ranged weapons. Just staring at the Lord Kamasa there. Little bit of support. And Luki Boy rounds off the teams with a Lord General fights in ranged combat. Begins with a retinue of stormtroopers, really strong defense and support capabilities. And can also add to the retinue, looks like he's going mid. We might see a big 2v2 fight here, in fact, because the Grey Knights are also heading there. Lord Commissar's around. Can use We Are The Hammer to buff the... Oh, used it a little bit early, I think, We Are The Hammer. Gives these guys, I believe it's a 10% damage resist these days. With a small speed increase. I think that's been buffed in 294. At the time of recording this, by the way, 294 is out. So go check it out at dawnofwar.info. I believe We Are The Hammer went back up to 15%. Some small tweaks here and there. And some a round of buffs for some underperforming auto malia stuff, I believe, was the gist of it. Some bugs fixed as well, of course. It's a good stomp from Best Noob Sentinel, the only Sentinel we see from three Imperial Guard players. Jojo, Triple Hormagaunts. Noisy, we're going to see most likely Rangers next to help spot the Lictor. Inquisitor runs away. Flamers up here for Django. Doing some good work. Sentinel backs away safely. Might see it come back in when the stomp is off cooldown. Warp Spider in amongst some Hormagaunts. Would have been beneficial actually if he stayed like butted up against the cover there. Because it means less Hormagaunts can surround you. He could just teleport away I think when he's in trouble. A Rangers on the way indeed for Noisy. Operatives for Dave. They took down a node. You can see Hammer of the Witches here on the Lord Commissar. As we saw it on the Brother Captain before. There's a stomp on retreat by the Sentinel. Are they going into melee? What are they doing? They are running now. They sure are a running. Also have flamers up for Lukey Boy. Two of them. Yes. Nothing else up for Django. Has they, have they spent power? Just the flamers. Double flamers for Django. Double flamers for Lukey Boy. Strange. Strange goings on. They wouldn't want to bash some power I guess. These Banshees are in trouble. That's two squads of Hormagaunts. Oh, there's Heavy Gauge, Death Spin up. So yeah, they need to update this tooltip then, because look, it's not knocking him down, it is a stun. I thought it was. Deals with the Lictor, but the Banshees did wipe. Did indeed wipe out to Ravenna Brood on the way for Jojo. Did the Pormagons all live? They did. Two models on those fellas. Katachun's up here for Best Noob. Very versatile infantry, can disrupt from long range and short range counter melee. And support with a smoke grenade. Lictor Alpha repurchased here by Jojo. Here are your operatives. Also quite versatile fellas. Can break their own retreat with an upgrade. Also drop a flash when they retreat. In tier 2 they can get a melter bomb with their sergeant which is handy. Armed with these shotguns. Also get an incendiary grenade when they... Um... There it is. Fall back land when they get this. I believe they also start with a smoke grenade. I think. They have a lot of stuff going on. Lots of things they can throw. Big engagement in mid. Look at that stomp. That was juicy. Knocked back three squads of guardsmen. Trying to get close to shoot those flamers, of course. Just walks right into the sentinel shenanigans. We have a heavy bolter here for Django. Double catechins for best noob. Catechins can help you deal with setup teams. There you see their long range disruption with the all reliable grenade launcher. 478 to 460. Hormagaunt's going to wipe. Yes, they do. Last guns get it done. No war gear yet for the Inquisitor. We do have improved targeters for the Warp Spider X arc. I assume this also, yeah, gets him up to 34 DPS. That's not bad. That's before this. Lord General has the flat jacket for incoming. Knockback immune and damage resistance for how long? I don't know. Doesn't tell me that. Uh-oh, Flesh Hook. On the Inquisitor, that might get her killed. Stomp saves her, maybe. Yes, it does. Flesh Hook, one of the few abilities in the game 
that actually scales with the hero's level. Does more damage, I think. I don't think it pulls further or anything. Just does more damage as he levels. Not sure how it scales exactly. If it's every level. If it's like just scales off standard damage scaling. Hormagaunt's wiping again. Jojo's down to single Hormagaunt Brood and double Ravenous now. With a power harass to deal with. Best noobs Inquisitors staying back getting those plasma pistol shots in. Rangers might get another shot here and could take a model off those Ravenous. Potentially. If they can get it done. Boom. Couldn't quite get it done. You saw them moving up there because they didn't have the vision to shoot on them until the Warp Spider teleported closer. So Jojo down to double Ravenous now. It's a good little push by the red team. Meanwhile, South. Lord General's lost his retinue buddies. Can reinforce them in the field, but he's retreating anyway. Uh-oh. Some catechons got super low for best new, but they did get away with three models still. It's not bad. Much later reinforced these days. Four power. Can add up, certainly can add up the strike squad with their Tomes of Titan for the banishment. I don't think they'll use it on a Sentinel. No. I don't think they will. One to one cap here. The improvised explosive. They could didn't quite retreat through it, those stormtroopers there. 424 to 460 on the VPs. Triple Ravener tier one for Jojo. I mean when you lose all your Hormagaunts, why not? Could support that with Venom Brood in tier two. Make that quite nasty as a focus fire. We do see more banishes from Noisy. A shield up in the mid that will negate all range damage as long as it stays up. It won't stay up for too long though. Ravenna Brood could Barrow Strike. Lord Kumasai helping out in the north. Where is the Lictor? No war gear, just idling at base right now. Red team do get the natural back. Need to build up some gens, fellas. We might see Lukey Boy go for the blue gen farm of the south. Because he's got all those flamers up and stuff. Tier 2s. Looks like Jojo and Best Noob going to be the last to go. Spending all this power and stuff. No war gear. But did upgrade a sentinel. And got those double catechins. There's a burrow strike into the Eldar backlines. Rangers being careful to stay infiltrated whenever they can. Did this guy get stunned by something? Or maybe it was the heavy gauge filament. Lictor backs away now. Yeah, needs to back away. 2v1. Really needs to back away. Where is Django then? Django's back at base right now. These guys are just defending the power, which is odd. These guys also defending the power, which has made a bit more sense. It's being attacked. Good stomp. Lictor Alpha must flee. And there's the smoke shell from the catechins. So do operatives have one? I don't, they don't have a grenade indicator there. I guess that makes sense. They might not get one. Because catechins don't have one either. I thought they did have one at some point. We do see some interceptors up, interceptors up from Dave. Now these guys have a psych out grenade at the moment. It's doing too much damage in 293 hotfix. Yeah, you just saw it there. Look what it did. That was nuts. It does like... I think twice the damage it's meant to or something, and I believe in 294, the damage has been completely removed. And it just, like, burns more energy away and stuff now. Because it was kind of nuts, as you saw there. It's already been fixed. 416 to 445. Jojo not happy with his own performance so far. Luke Boy, though, is also down to just two units. It's kind of evened out. Komasar goes down. 416 to 445 on the VPs. The power harass continues. It really is chucking out some damage here, this Warp Spider. With the Heavy Gauge, Death Spinner and Improved Targeters. Now has Enhanced Warp Jump Generator, which just makes it teleport better. Gives us some more energy to play with and stuff. Might go behind this Heavy Cover here. Oh, he's just Heavy Gauging them. In a lot of kills this guy it's almost level five already look at this just hit level five in fact teleports to safety they didn't quite get the full bash these flame oh they don't have flamers that was a dead body i was seeing 
And they got two gens. Meanwhile, towards the south, there's very nasty interceptors with their fancy grenade. And a brother captain with a nemesis warding staff. Unending purge. I believe this was slightly buffed in 294 as well. Very slightly. Improvised explosive goes off, but didn't seem to do much. And they be a capping that central power. Interceptors teleporting in with the furious intervention because of their Justicar will knock down stuff. Did it knock down these fellas because they had that shield up? There's that psych out grenade again. Really nasty thing. The Inquisitor in amongst some strike squad being knocked over though because the brother captain's also there and that warding stuff hurts. Yeah, down she goes. Melter gun Lord General now. Not seen any vehicles, but melters are anti everything. Going for the revive. And they might get it. Oh, maybe not. Grenade barrage stops them in their tracks. Level 3 stormtroopers. Those grenades have done work. Just got their acolyte as well. Ouch. That was banishment. I think that's the best time to use it. When a squad is already low, use that to do a massive chunk and take out some models. If all three can hit guardsmen, doing 30 damage, that's like a third of their health at level 1. Per model, I mean. I think they have 100 health per model, don't they? Or am I just mad? Maybe I'm mad. Really nasty against heretics, potentially, too. Because heretics only have 75 hit points per model at level 1, with no upgrades. Two blue heroes down here. Maybe Dave can come and pick him up. We've got a Wraith Lord for Noisy. And Jojo does get a Venom Brood going. I thought maybe they were trying to get a very quick tier 3. Whacked both Catechins, said Dave. Well done. They were standing here. But they be dead. Best move, though, is tier 3. Zone throw on the way now for Jojo. Red team are going to retake the mid. That central power. Banshee's finding some heavy bolter action. Brother Captain getting stuck in that heal on hit from the unending purge there. Oh, we see Mantle of Terror too. I want to see some battle rights going on. It was heavily nerfed in 293 Hotfix because it was insane in 293. It now has a 100 heal. I think it's radius 15, but you need, you need to take damage to be able to use it. It's charged up by taking, I believe it's 600 damage. It doesn't have an energy cost. And has a one minute cooldown. I think that was slightly buffed in 294. It's got a shorter cooldown now, I think. Sentinels dealt with by those interceptors. Done really well so far. Those guys seem pretty strong for a jump squad. The fact that they disrupt and it's instantaneous is a massive deal. Because how do you stop it? When it's assault marines jumping in, you can kind of see their energy go down. Maybe if you get moving or if you're already moving, you could dodge their jump. How do you dodge that? Maybe there should be a little delay on it. Seems like there's like a half a second delay or something, maybe. Maybe it should be a little bit more. That allows some kind of counterplay, maybe. Still be hard to dodge. But at least you can like start, start your retreat or start desetting up or something. Oh, these guys got their melter bomb from the sergeant, just chucked it at the Wraith Lord. And then left, because they only got shotguns after that. Brother Captain, level 7. Done really well. Eats a hammer of the witches, though. 393 to 312. Seems like it's going to be pretty durable with the Unending Purge and the Mantle of Terror. There's no way to tell if it's, like, charged up. Strike Squad, level 4, getting into some melee, because still definitely smack down some guardsmen level 4 stormtroopers as well Dave's killed a lot of stuff Baneblade on the way for best noob only has double guardsmen warp spider goes down level 6 heavy turret drops in just shoots at the tank traps and venom brood yeah they're going to take it down quite quickly this thing has vehicle armor unlike other turrets but does go down but Kumasar no war gear double zone throws here for Jojo has recovered quite well now and the red team recover. Tier 3 for Noisy. What's this? Shenanigans. It is what it is. That was purification from the strike squad. Giving energy to their interceptor bros. Almost level 8 this fella. 
Luffy boy getting some ogrins, which is a bit odd, I guess, to counter initiate the interceptors. But I think they're going to get messed up. Because the brother captain can throw ward on them, potentially AoE heal them, and then, of course, get some power melee attacks of his own. Needs something to soak up damage, I suppose, Luki boy. Maybe it would have been better going tier 3 earlier, though. Bane Blade is almost up. And a Lehman Russ on the way for Django. Tier 3 for Jojo, so only Luki boy in tier 2 now. And they still need to wait a bit. Contested power is blue. What is this? A power harass. Looks like they made short work of it. Shield up there from the Lord General. That's from the Commissar Retinue member. Here come those Ogrins. They do have heavy melee damage. So they will tear through anything given half the chance. Ward up on the Interceptors. Now being knocked over by the Ogrins. They're doing pretty well, you know. But there's that Furious Intervention. Look at that. They need to give it a minimum range as well, I think. But that's a bit, that's a little bit, a little bit cheesy. A point blank teleport to get disruption because disruption is so powerful in this game. Banshees in amongst some Raveners. Zonothropes, I think, will get a shot and then run away, and they completely missed. Yeah, look how quickly their health just disappears when the Banshees get on them. Oh, jumping in is the Lictor Alpha to save the day, feed the tendrils, and deadly jump. I think you'll fancy this fight. He's got some heavy bolter support as well, and now some Ravener support from somewhere. Who's shooting? That was weird. Did they die? That was very weird. Did they borrow a strike away? I don't know who that was shooting. The Banshees went down. In the mid, it's a Bane Blade, as they say. Brother Captain almost level 9. How is he getting so much XP so quickly? Still haven't spotted the battle rights going off. I'm not, I assume it's got the standard uh, heal effect. Maybe it's gone off right in front of my face and I haven't seen it. Noisy's got some Seer Council. It's like a squad of Warlocks with power melee witch blades that can jump on you and chop you to shreds. Have this AoE range damage reduction aura that they also benefit from themselves. That's that blue glow you saw. In the mid, Neiman Russ versus Bane Blade. Shouldn't have to tell you who wins that fight 1v1. Bane Blade is getting some repairs as well. That was Purgation. Inquisitor now poking the Lehman Russ. Is that the Holy Brazier? It is. That was Purgatus you saw. Sorry, not Purgation. Ogrins. They can tear apart a tank. They can smack a tank so hard with their own guns that they will tear it apart. Again, that that short range teleport feels a little bit cheesy. And they get rid of the Ogrins quite easily with the uh, Strike Squad and tank support. The aim bed is very low, you know. Because this is a Vanquisher, right? Vanquishers are awesome. Need some more repairs over here. Catechins from Best Noob getting their Sarge. A third Catechin squad. Has a lot of red as well. What is this? Noisy pressuring the power. He's found a bunch of stuff. There's that teleport again. In amongst the rangers. Took out two models so fast. Level 4 rangers as well. If those guys were level 1. Would they have even got away? There's the heavy gauge filament to stun those fellas. Well, stun one of them. Which, of course, messes up the, co the coherency of the others. Tapping back their natural VP is Luki Boy. Are we going to see the Bane Blade push for that tank? Oh, they do have Stormtroopers though. Need to be careful that Bane Blade. Uh oh, they're getting messed up. They had to run. There's Bogartus. So that would have defended against the Stormtroopers if they did come in. Bane Blade is going to get his tank if he just stays here. Down it goes. One of the LAS cannons got it in the end. Another Luminous dropped in here by Luki Boy. Doesn't want to show its rear armor though. There we go, turn around buddy. Strike Squad capping the Northern Contested VP and Paladins on the field. A unique unit to the Brother Captain. Only he can call in these guys. Heavy Melee Demon Hammers and some support abilities. They have their Labor Demonica, the Holy Ground. And they're getting the Incinerator. I don't know if that's worth 30 power. To get that incinerator. I mean, it's a good incinerator. 
It's like eight DPS, isn't it? Which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's like double the DPS, I think, of a tactical marine flamer. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad flamer, but you're just running them into melee anyway. Do you really want to spend 30 power on that? Seems like a luxury purchase. Avatar on the way for Noisy. Neurothrope for Jojo. The paroxysm doesn't do a lot to uh, vehicles. The main blade wasn't bothered. Melter bomb goes in though. Looks like Django is going to try and get double anti armor stormtroopers, I think. Bane Blade getting lots of repairs. Here come the Ogrins. Interceptors level 4. They've been amazing. Teleporting away, though. Paladins don't have enough backup to push against the Bane Blade right now. There's that heavy gauge filament messing up the Brother Captain. And the grenade goes in. Nicely done. Again, didn't see the battle rights. Maybe it was on cooldown. This guy's level 10. 1573 with self heals at level 10. We have Emperor's Wrath for the Lord Commissar of Django. What else we got going on? Level 8 Warp Spider's done well too. Level 5 Inquisitor and a level 3 Lord General. With that Melter. Bane Blade is hanging out in the mid at the moment. Is that a bunker? It is a bunker. It looks like it's a medical bunker though. See those green hexagons? All these infantry can reinforce off it now. A little bit of a heal aura. There's the Avatar. Super unit for Eldar. Buffs surrounding allied infantry. And it's pretty nasty in combat. Just shrugging off those Ravenna attacks. We we'll have resistance against them. Here we go. Double Stormtroopers. Got their melters in. There's the repairs. Came a little bit late. Oh, it's a rocket run. No, it's not. It's a creeping garage from Lukey Boy. And they fled. no reason for you to go mid, guys. Just, like, avoid the Bane Blade, I say. Avatar's on the prowl. Does he want a power bash? What is he doing? Just having a look at some stuff. We have a Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood from JoJo. It's a little bit weird. Maybe they plan to get Gene Steelers up. Typically wouldn't see these purchased, like, just on their own. They typically be purchased after a melee unit to give them melee resist. There's Bergatus again. Times it well. Gets almost the entire Bordeaux Malleus army. And then Hammer of the Witches on the Paladins. The Inquisitor is amazing at dealing with Terminator variants. But down she goes as soon as I say that, of course. Could get her crossbow bolt pistol to lock them down. Oh, down goes a tank. That was Lukey Boys. The double anti armor stormtroopers got it done with their melter guns. And the Ogrins flee. Have they leveled up yet? They have. Bane Blade's kind of far forward here. Paladins might be able to get around on the rear armor. Nope, they're just going for the VP. And the Lord General is waiting for them. How much can they do with the Melter? Not enough. Stuff was dying and he had to run away. Avatar just did a Wailing Doom. I don't know if they hit anything. 305 to 154. That's an auto cannon for Lukey Boy on the north side. Something is taking their VP. It's Guardsmen with plasma guns. Gonna get messed up though by the stormtroopers here. And here come those interceptors. That's so painful. They're gonna die, I think. Did they die? Yeah, they did. 301 to 154. Still that one to one. But the captain gets this though, being poked by the Inquisitor with the Holy Brazier, and here comes the Mandate. Immediately goes up to help her in this fight, and here the Ogrins join in. And then they get knocked over. They didn't knock themselves over there. They got Plasma Guns, they got a Lehman Rust, they got Melters, they're doing good damage to the Paladins. Who have now left. The captain also gets away. Probably has some pretty good health regen as well, yeah. This gives him energy regen, but just from leveling up, you get more health regen. They're going after the Bane Blade hard here. They might get it. I think they are going to get it. Yeah, Venom Brood came in. Lictor jumped on the rear armor there to try and mess up the pathing. Bane Blade down. Best move down to two units, but so is Django. 
Look at noisy floating resources here. Floating an insane amount. Could get double fire prisms up and then something else. Some dark creepers or something. Maybe he just wants to like be super aggressive with the avatar knowing that he can replace it. But I think he could get a fire prism up and still have enough to replace it very soon. Borrow strike. Won't knock these guys over because of that shield. They can get him going to melee. There we go. And mess him up. Walks better doing what he can. Those guys are dead. I think Lukey Boy has completely forgotten about them. Down they go. Topsy turvy game. Oh, wait. I missed the paladins going down. There they were. What a dumbass. Oh, the Seer Council. I, I bet the Seer Council chased them down. Yeah, look, there's another one. Well, that's a big win for the red team. Completely missed, of course, by yours truly. Because I'm good at things. And Lord Commissar also going down. I don't know what he was thinking there. A Seer Council and an Avatar. You can't even take one of those guys. Lehman Russ under pressure. Need to tie them up, Mr. Lord General. Okay, they, they got rid of him. 277 to 126. Bane Blade now for Django. Noisy is floating resources like you wouldn't believe. Did he place a bet or something? Once I get an avatar, I can't do I can't buy anything else. Could use a nuke as well. Operative still around, you know. Look at them go. Do they still have a smoke grenade? No idea. I don't know if it's an offensive smoke grenade if they have one or a defensive one like the Catachans. They certainly have an incendiary grenade. Hence the grenade icon. Noisy still floating like crazy. Another Bane Blade on the way for Best Noob. Interceptors. Oh, they've got their side cannons out. Melter Bomb went in from the operatives. Now teleporting away. Being tied up here. By the Inquisitor, there's the Purgatus. Nicely done. Waited to get everything. I assume, I assume there's a cooldown on uh, being able to switch, switch weapons, which is why they're not going back to their melee loadout. What is this? Seer Council versus Raveners. Avatar is also there buffing them. I always forget exactly what the buffs are from the Avatar. I think it's a damage buff, you know. And suppression immunity. Which is pretty good. And we do see Gene Stillers for Jojo, so the Warrior Brood purchase makes a lot more sense. Avatar is going to go down here. Oh, Eldritch though sets it up. That's going to kill the Avatar. But also kills a bunch of Tyranids. Did it wipe anything though? It did. Wiped out the Warrior Brood and I think the Gene Stillers? No. 10 hit points on this guy. Gets away. Noisy immediately purchases another avatar. But needs to get some more stuff out. We've got more paladins from Dave. 214 to 126 on the VPs. Who's this? You're just hanging out on the VP, are you, buddy? Need to get their wreck point back. There it is. I wonder where Best Noob is going to take their Bane Blade now. Who can support their Bane Blade the best? Django, they only they both only have a single repair unit. Luki Boy has one as well though. So does Noisy. Tyranids can't repair and Dave has the Stormtroopers to repair. Still one to one. Paladins get the cap. Using that 5,400 hit points. Go there and take it says Best Noob. I think they're talking to this guy to go for the VP. Maybe need to be careful with the double Lehman Russes though. Because there's stuff there. Certainly is stuff there. There's going to be a Melter Bomb and these guys have their side Cannons. A Lictor on the way now for Jojo. Infiltrated Bane Blade. Paroxysm again goes on the Bane Blade. I don't think Jojo perhaps realises that it's very ineffective against vehicles. So Rocket Run there. From Best Noob. Messed up the Stormtroopers. Here comes some heavy melee gene stealers though. Not sure why the Raveners are going into melee with it. They have, they do have their enhanced muscle fur, so they're now benefiting from the melee synapse, but they should have melee a Bane Blade. 
find some infantry, fellas. They're going to be wiped out by a seer council, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. There's a leap, but it's not enough. Power in a formation now. 20583. Heavy turret dropped in by a Luki boy. That's a good shout. Maybe drop another one, you know. Avatar's going after the Bane Bade rear armor hits. There's that Lictor from tier 3 Jojo. Runs away. Paladin's here to help out. There's another Eldritch. It's going to go down. They've got the Bane Blade now. Don't think he needed the uh, Wailing Doom, but take to that with style. Now can fight some Paladins. Is this a single Seer Council? Where's the rest of them? Oh, they're over here. Paladins were all split up. They're getting messed up by a Seer Council. The Terminators don't have claws. It's a really dicey fight. Trying to take on these guys. Terminators or any of the variants, I mean. Even the uh, Grey Knight Terminators with their halberds can get messed up pretty badly by a Seer Council. Steel noises purchase anything, nothing else. Just avatars. Very odd. They still have the 2 to 1, 180 to 83. Maybe they're waiting to see what the blue team comes out with so they can counter it, but I would just get some, just get those fire prisms rolling. Stop the caps, you know. Avatar's done really well, is getting quite low though, and that's a melter bomb. Wailing Doom. Decent hit, but they survived. Here's a another medical bunker from Best Noob. Lord General joins the action at level 6. Very defensive play here from Dave. Looks like they are maybe moving up now towards the VP. I thought they were idling there. Another heavy turret dropped in. These things do a lot of damage. These are like Vanquisher turrets. They can become Executioner turrets as well. Warp Spider joins the fight. Has he got anything else? Nope, level 10 though. Oh, he's got phase armor now. Level 5 Lictor, level 6 Commissar, level 10 Brother Captain of course. Level 8 Inquisitor who's down. And then not reviving... Oh, there we go. Oh, he was in there. It was under the water, reviving her. Need to defend their natural. Ogrins and two tanks here, as well as some plasma guards. And is it going to be enough? You need to... Uh, be on your guard with those tanks. Get them moving quickly if the Paladins are coming for them. Paladins are actually going for the Ogrins, who weren't moving for a while. Now they are. There's a shockwave from the Paladins. That's nasty. I haven't seen them use Holy Ground very much. Teleporting on the rear arm of the tanks. Set up by the Melter. And Interceptors are joining it in. Pergatus maybe saves them. Maybe. Inquisitor gets stuck in now with that power melee. And there's the Holy Brazier. Which does debuff your damage, yeah. So it is doing some work, even if it's not killing those Paladins. Here come the Seer Council. I don't think Dave can hold this for very long. Paladins, I think, are going to wipe, in fact, and they do. There's always going to be a risk against an Inquisitor to push your Terminator variants up that far. Interceptors need to be careful, as do the Strat Squad, and Noisy oh, loses his avatar, but then gets the, the fire prisms coming. Oh, that was a Terminator formation, was it? Yeah, it was. Looks like they mostly dodged it. Some Guardsmen got hit. So did the Inquisitor, but she's okay. Level 9 Inquisitor now. And they are getting the VP back, thanks to the Warp Spider Exarch, the third avatar on the way now for Noisy, with double fire prisms already in play. 152 to 56. What is this? Gene Stealer's hanging out in the north, being all creepy. These guys need to be careful. I mean, they're reinforcing, but this is a fight they can't win. Or maybe they can. If these guys stand here long enough, oh, they run away. They ran away. They still have four models. They just uh, interrupted the retreat with a shot to the face. 
triple anti-armor stormtroopers now sneaking around. And they could take out a fire prism so fast. We might see it here. If they still have the energy to throw melters. Oh, they got spotted. Got too close to the bunker there. Best noob just trying to move close to where he thinks they are. And gets to Bogartus and stops that raid completely. Also got the Lictor. Another fire prison for Noisy. Did they cancel the Avatar or did it die? It couldn't have died already. They must have cancelled it. Those jeans are still hanging out in north. Need to swarm right side, says Dave. By right side, I think they mean the south. Inquisitor getting stuck in. With the mandate up. They are being helped by operatives. Somehow, they're still in the level 4. Everything else in his army seems to be. Yep. More fire prism for noises. He's going to have four of them. Interceptors teleported in. Took one look at the Seer Council. Was like, nah. There we go. Now they want to fight. Now that the ward has uh, worn off, though. Fire prism's doing their thing. Disrupting the crap out of everything. And double Lehman Russes are there. Kashakin now for best noob. Have they got an upgrade? No. Red team looking very strong. 81 to 56. Blue team running out of ideas a little bit. I like this idea. Triple anti-armor stormtroopers, but can they make it work? There's nothing here to spot them. They, they should kill at least one if they get a melter off. Depends how fast those other guys can shoot and disrupt. Oh, they missed. They missed their shot there. They took one out. The others get phased. To set up a nuke, maybe? No, they're going to run away. Grenades going in from best nuke, but they hit the warp spider. Oh, Eldritch on retreat path. Oh, boy. Beautifully done by Noisy. Whacked all three of them out, I think. Excellent play. That might have just won them the game if it wasn't already, already won. Yeah, hard luck, Django. Not a lot they could have done about that. Phased, retreated, got nuked. Oh, Dave has sound bug, great. Yeah, but they seem to think it's over anyway. 40 to 56. Noisy, still floating tons of resources here. Could get another avatar. If they have the, yeah, I think they have the population, there it is. Blue team have conceded. Dave may have dropped at the end from the sound bug. We will never know. We had a level 7 Commissar, level 6 Lictor. That level 10 Brother Captain, he seems to be level 10 for about 20 minutes, I think. Level 10 Warp Spider as well. A lot of work with the Heavy Gauge, Death Spinner. Best Noob, pretty slick with the Inquisitor. I think I would have preferred to see the Crossbow Bolt Pistol piss off the Paladins even more. But hey, they killed six of them. They worked it out. And a level 6 Lord General. There it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Hectic 3v3. Lots of fun stuff going on. Love that nuke at the end from Noisy. And I'll uh, see you next time.